In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your Eclipse workspace to use Google C++ test framework. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to this address, then go to clone or download, copy this link. Now open up your terminal and cd to whichever directory you want to paste your Google libraries in. So mine is this. Uh, now go ahead and do git clone, paste in uh, this link hit enter and wait till all uh, the libraries or the files are downloaded now you should see this folder google test now let's open up eclipse and uh, create a new project where all of your unit tests will be stored so i'm going to name this project uh, unit tests uh, select empty cross gcc next next and finish now uh, open up your terminal window again and uh, cd into your google test folder uh, so inside that folder there's two other folders google mock and google test you want to go ahead and cd into your google test folder again and inside that folder there's a, another folder called scripts so cd into that folder now now inside that folder there's uh, several Python folders uh, but this is a file we care about right now so we're gonna run this file and what this file does is it creates uh, our gtest.h files uh, which uh, are necessary to run our unit test so to run it we do fuse underscore gtest underscore files dot py then we uh, pass in as a parameter the uh, the path of this of this uh, of our project and then uh, at the end also uh, include the name of another folder you want to create within this folder and that's where our files are going to be placed so I'm going to call this google test lib and hit enter now come back to your uh, to eclipse right click on your project hit refresh and now inside you should see the folder you created and inside that folder all of the files the G, the google test files that uh, are used by your unit tests now right click on your google test.lib file uh, go to resource configurations exclude from build select release and ok now right click on it again, go to properties, uh, C++ build, settings, under cross G++ compiler, go to the includes folder, uh, go ahead and add a path, click on workspace, and select this top folder, google test lib, hit ok, ok, and ok. Now let's create our unit test files. So first right click on unit test project, go to new folder, let's create a folder called uh, tests where we'll be placing our unit test at. So finish, then right click on it, go to new uh, source file, and create a new file called all tests.cpp. So this file is where it's going to be responsible for running all of our all of the unit tests that we create. And let's create another file called uh, foo tests.cpp. And this file is going to be used. We're going to use it to test two of these files that are already created, foo.cpp and foo.h. So I'll go ahead and create these two. And basically all I do here is all I have is one function that I'll be using to test to make sure that my configuration was correct. So go into all tests and put in the following code. Save it. Now go into the foo test.cpp file and put in the following code and save it. So right here basically the only thing this does is it calls the foo function uh, right here and checks if 
the return value is true which it is so this test should pass so now we have an error because uh, this file can't find our foo.h file which is in this other project so what we have to do is uh, link our CP this cpp folder and this .h folder which contains the two files that we need so to do that right click on your unit test project go to properties C++ general paths and symbols and link folder oh source location link folder I'll click on link folder in the file system browse now look for uh, for your for the two folders where uh, the foo.h file and the cpp file are click ok ok now let's link our h folder ok and ok then click ok and uh, now we have our two folders right here so once you update the code or any of these two folders these should automatically update so you shouldn't you shouldn't touch any you shouldn't touch any of these two so now you see that the uh, that the error is gone now the other issue we're gonna have if we build right now is that uh, or this this file can't find gtest so what we need to do is include this folder this folder and this folder inside this folder so to do that right click on it go to properties C++ build settings cross G++ compiler includes go ahead and add a folder so we're going to be adding our cbp folder next we're going to be adding our uh, google test lib folder and our uh, h folder so ok ok and ok p is also required by google test to run so to add that right click on your project go to properties uh, C++ build settings go down to cross G++ linker libraries uh, click add and type in pthread click OK and OK now you also need to exclude foo test file from our build so resource configuration exclude from build select all and OK now if you build so right here I already forgot the S so add it build and uh, the errors here are gone now we're getting errors on these other files because uh, the CPP files can't find the analog the H files are located within this other uh, folder so one thing that we could do is go ahead and add it this way which is not the best way so what, what we go ahead and do is uh, right click on your CPP file go to properties settings C++ build settings under cross G++ compiler go to your includes folder let's add a folder go to workspace search for your H file within uh, your unit test folder not the other folder but this one click OK OK and OK so yes so now if you build uh, the error should go away so now let's come back to our all test .cpp file and let's build it so control P to build and control F11 to run so you can see that our test uh, ran and it passed so that means that we configure our workspace correctly 
so if we come back here uh, so remember not this file don't modify these but our original file and open foo.h and change this to false so save it build it and uh, let's run it again so we get that failed so let's undo this let's run it again and there it passed another way to run these unit tests is by uh, installing the C++ unit test plugin so to do that go up here to help install new software uh, inside this box uh, go ahead and type in the following so you should get these two uh, let's click on the arrows to expand them select development tools development tools SEK scroll down select visual C++ support unit testing support and unit testing support source now go ahead and click next until they install so I won't install them because they're already installing my in my workspace but click finish and once uh, you click finish your uh, Eclipse will restart so once it does uh, open up this file again go up here click on the arrow click on run configurations select C++ unit click here new launch configuration if this isn't filled in uh, search for your project so here's mine click OK and then go to C++ testing uh, select Google test runner and run it now if, let's try changing this to false so save it build it uh, let's run it so that means that uh, our unit test held. And that's how you configure Eclipse to be able to use Google Test. Thank you for watching.